The following program is brought to you in living color. Hi, I'm Tony Figueroa, the child of television, and welcome to another edition of This Week in TV History. Now, you can read my blog, childoftelevision.blogspot.com, and you can also hear me on TV Confidential, a radio talk show about television. Uh, but right now, I just want to wish a happy belated birthday to television legend Norman Lear. He turned 100 years old last month. It was actually July 27th. And I would have done something closer to the date, but I got COVID, so I'm sure Mr. Lear will understand um, getting his birthday card late. Uh, but anyway, if we were to ask hundreds of people across the United States about Norman Lear, how would you define the man, his life, his legacy? I'd say that most people would easily say the man changed television, and they would be correct. I can remember being a little boy in Defiance, Ohio, living in my grandparents' house, and this new show came on TV, and it was something that was an event in the house. I mean, dinner was done, the dishes were cleaned, everybody was in the living room, the TV had the grown-ups' undivided attention. And I remember some thing came on before the show began. They were words and there was an announcer making some very serious thing. He sounded like a newscaster. And then I heard a different voice say, from Television City in Hollywood. And this man and woman started singing at the piano, a song about those were the days. Anyway, this was a show, it came on. So many of the jokes went over my head because I was very small, but I still laughed because I thought this guy, Archie Bunker, was hysterical, especially when he got mad. But I never saw my grandparents laugh so loud and for so long that they found this thing so funny. I remember my grandfather was cupping his ear and just laughing and laughing. I think Archie Bunker was responsible for my grandfather eventually breaking down and getting a hearing aid. Just a thought. Anyway. That show was amazing. And then it spun off Maud. That was Edith's cousin played by B. Arthur. And then Maud spun off Good Times, which was the first time in television history where a spinoff got a spinoff. And then we had the Jeffersons. And then over at NBC, we had uh, Sanford and Son. And then later on, we would have One Day at a Time, Different Strokes. We even had, believe it or not, the first interactive sitcom. It was called The Baxters. And in that first decade that Norman Lear changed television, he fought what was called the Family Hour, where they wanted certain types of programming from 8 to 9 p.m. Well, All in the Family was on between 8 and 9, and he found that if the show had to meet these restrictions or get moved to 9 o'clock, uh, this was a fight worth having, and he eventually got the Family Hour abolished. He would also spend a lot of his time and resources to found an organization called People for the American Way. He was a big advocate for First Amendment rights, and he was just a fine, upstanding citizen, somebody who did put his time and his money where his mouth was. Now, Norman Lear would continue being active in the 90s. He did a show called The Powers That Be. Uh, he brought back the Bunker's famous home in 704 Hauser Street, I think really the great legacy of all of his shows were you saw real people having the same kitchen table discussions that we Americans were having at home, that they had the same problems that we had, that we knew these people. They were not uh, Father Knows Best or uh, shows like that where everything was perfect, clean, and uh, you know, Dad had some unknown job that he came home from. No. Not only were we able to identify these people, we knew these people, and we got to enjoy their good times, unintended, and not so good times. And even uh, nowadays, he did a reboot of One Day at a Time with an all Latin cast, and his classic 70s shows are being done again live with the help of Jimmy Kimmel. So, going back uh, to my question, if we were to ask people, how would they encapsulate Norman Lear's life and career? They would say, right, he changed television. Well, I actually think 
he changed the world. I'm Tony Figueroa. Stay tuned. Happy birthday, Mr. Lear.